I think it's like the current. Yeah. Feeling good? With my guy Jeremy Bunnell here, we are drop shot fishing. Mostly for largemouth. I say mostly because we'll take a smallmouth. We haven't caught any smallmouth yet, but we have gotten a bunch of largemouth today already. Been fishing for about nine, two hours, our best five or 13 and a half pounds already. And that's what this video is going to be all about. Drop shot fishing for largemouth or smallmouth. A smallie? No, large, believe it or not. Is it really? Uh, I can't tell, no. That's a giant smallmouth, dude. That's a giant. That's a giant. Oh, it is a giant largemouth. Holy smokes, man. Holy cow. Good grief. Did you get a good look at it? Oh my gosh. How you want to, what do you want to do? Uh, it's too big to flip on this. I yeah, I would definitely test. not. I would definitely not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fish out there with I know, I saw that. Another one, man, they just keep coming up. There's multiple fish out there. You want me to grab this? Oh, yeah, go. <sighs> there we go. There we go. All right. I'm going to say somehow he shrunk on me when he got in the boat, but. He's still healthy. He's a nice chunk. There's another song. There we go. There you go. Yeah, he's not a bad one. Big old largemouth bass. You can't have a blast with largemouth bass. But doggone, you can have a lot of fun. That blast, that's that's reserved for smallmouth bass. Having a blast with smallmouth bass. There she is. That's a call. That's a nice fish. Yep. I tell you, a mistake I made. I felt thump, tap, tap, and I waited for him to start swimming. And now that bait's down his throat. So what I'll do, believe it or not, is I'll actually cut the line. He'll keep the hook in his mouth, but he'll spit it out. How do I know this? How many times, I couldn't tell you how many times I've done that in a tournament, put him in a live well. End of the tournament, the bait or the hook is in, its, in the live well. So they, they have a weird way of working it out. That one feels like my heaviest fish of the day. Very cool. All right, about three feet off that wall there. Yeah, we Sounds got good. we got a good we got a good good large drop bass. Come here. Talk about bait selection here a little bit. I guess it's bass. Stay down now. Don't you come up. Being a bit of a bit of there. Yeah. Generally speaking, big on drop shot. You don't lose. You don't lose a lot of fish. He's hooked perfectly. Look perfectly as you can see. Yes, sir. That's what you call a good bass. I don't care who you are. If you catch a fish, you always cast back to where you caught it because there could be another. This is back to back cast. Exact same spot. Yeah, we got another good large mouth here. We got ourselves another good one. Oh yes. Another three pounder, buddy. Nope, 
Again, hook set straight up, see where he's hooked, right on top of the roof of the mouth. That's back to back cast of three pounders, exact same spot. There you go, Vanel. Be a giant. It's a, a large, but it's a, it's a keeper. Oh, yeah, fun. Nice. Got yourself two yonder there. Yummy. Yeah. yeah. Hooked perfectly. With a perfect hook set. Look how fat and healthy he is. Yeah. We're working seawalls, you see, but there's a little, there's like scattered rock, a little bit of gravel. It's a great place to work a drop shot where your bait's on the bottom. I'm sorry, your weight's down there, but your bait is 8 to 12 inches above that, kind of dangling around those fish are late in those rocks. Put it right in their face. And boom, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nothing too crazy. No. A little bit better, I thought. No? You sure? That looked pretty good to me. Be one of our best five today. We're already at. It's only 9:26 in the morning. We started fishing at seven. We already got 14 and a half pounds. In our best five. Hey, he actually got a little weed in his mouth there. Huh? I think he got that in there at the tail end of this. Yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. We've been. I've been nose hooking mine. You as well? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, I've been nose hooking. I think if you can get away with nose hooking, that's to me. That's my preference to get maximum action in that bait. But now we've had a great day of drop shotting. What would you say has been the key to our success besides just being good looking? Yeah, well, man, that's a lot. But uh, we've been throwing heavier drop shot weights. I think we both kind of agreed that's a little bit different and untraditional in most cases. Uh, in deeper water and... Yeah, how deep have our fish been? I mean, what would you say? Between 9 to nine to 13 feet? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Some have been right up against the sea walls. You know, bait selection, I stuck with the flatworm. Jeremy used actually quite a few different baits. So, why do you think, Jeremy, so many different baits are working at, at the same day? Well, same. Yeah, that's, I mean, good question. I don't know, that's an age old question. Uh, I, sometimes I just feel like you just gotta be at the right, you just gotta be where the fish are at. And I think that's kind of what, what what's happening today. I feel like you've had a little bit better quality of fish. So I think that flatworm you're throwing has been a little bit better, yielded some better fish. If I could do it all over again, that's probably what I would do. What's our smallest one so far? Well, everything's over two. We can start calling. I mean, it, it, that's why I wanted to play with this thing because it'll tell me if it's a. It might, might be enough there. This is just a ton of fun. Yeah, I've been talking about the, the hook set. We'll get that hooked on top of the mouth. Well, no one's perfect. I am using uh, Berkeley Max Scent Flatworm. And bait selection on drop shots, man, there are so many on the market to choose from. I'm choosing this thing right now, this bait, number one, it, it mimics a goby. And this is their goby color. And there are a lot of gobies where we are. We're in a body water that that is attached, that drains into Lake Michigan. A lot of gobies in here. So that's why I selected this bait. Plus, there's current where we're at. And these flat worms are really made with the intent of current because that flat bottom will help well, actually keep the bait straight like this as it's drifting or sitting there in that current, whereas a circular bait will, will certainly move more. So. Ah, not a bad fishy. Use a spinning rod like this. Ooh, he's zinging along. I, I usually have my drag as tight as can be, or almost as tight as can be, very tight. And then as the fish bites, or I hook up, I loosen that drag to avoid breakoffs. That's a pretty good fish, but but I'd say two and a half pounds. We're gonna find out though. Oh man, we've got we've got one one fish left in there that's under two. This one. 
should be right inside the mouth. Let's see what our tackle that we're using here. I got 10 pound braid on my rod with a eight pound leader. Could go six pound, but the water's a little bit stained here, except for that nice one Jeremy got in the clean water. Uh, a quarter ounce weight and a size one owner mosquito hook. You see how long our leader is, about a foot long. Links on my social media are below. Please give me a follow. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.